So I started using this Lumen Metabolic Tracker back in March of 2023. And I did a review video after using it for about seven weeks. And I put a link to that in the description box and then up here as well. I think it's on the side. And I really recommend that you take a look at that because I went into a lot of detail about what the device is, um, what it does, what it doesn't do, how to use it, things like that. So make sure you go out and watch that video after you finish this video. So here we are about a year and a half later here in January of 2025. So I thought I would do an update. So do I still recommend the Lumen device? Do I think it's just a gimmicky health gadget? And is it still working for me? So those are some of the things I'm gonna talk about in this video. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's start with a question that's probably at the top of your list. Does the Lumen device actually work? Well, the short answer is yes, it, it does work. That's the short answer. I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail, of course. Uh, we're gonna take a closer look at my own personal data over the year and a half that I used the device myself. So hopefully that'll give you some insight and then we'll talk through some of the ways that the Lumen device has helped me. But first, we really need to talk about how the Lumen device actually works, uh, what the purpose, the actual purpose of the device is, uh, and that's just to make sure you have the right expectation. I also want you to know very clearly what the device does not do. That's very important. So we're going to come back to that. Now, in addition to sharing my own personal experience using the device, I'm also going to leave you with some supporting documentation down in the description box. So I put some links down there. Uh, there's a peer reviewed validation study published by the Journal of Medical Research. And there's also a link to a 12 week pilot study of participants with prediabetes. So just giving you a little bit more information. If you want to read it, you can read it. It's there. If you want to take my word for it, you can take my word for it as well. All right. So what does it do and how does it work? Now, I have some notes here. So excuse me if I look down here periodically. Um, but the Lumen device actually measures the concentration of CO2. That's carbon dioxide gas. So it's measuring the um, carbon dioxide in your breath to determine whether you're burning, your mitochondria are burning carbs for fuel or fat for fuel. So your mitochondria are the metabolic powerhouses of your body, right? Um, they're like little power plants inside your cells. What they do is they take the food that you eat and the air that you breathe and they convert them into energy. And the percentage of CO2 versus oxygen in your breath, that is an indicator of the type of energy being used. And burning carbs uses more carbon dioxide than burning fat. So when you blow into this device, that's what it's actually doing. It's measuring that percentage of CO2 versus oxygen to determine what type of energy you're burning. Now, when your mitochondria are healthy, when you're at rest, just like I'm sitting here just chilling, talking to you guys, when you're at rest, your mitochondria should be burning fat. Or when you're doing some prolonged physical activity like walking or maybe housework, you should be burning fat. Your mitochondria should be burning carbs when you're doing more higher intensity activities. You know, something that's getting your heart rate up you should be burning carbs. That's what your mitochondria is gonna be tapping into. Same thing goes for after you eat a meal. So the point is your body needs to be able to burn both types of fuel. It needs to have that flexibility, it's called metabolic flexibility, to know when to burn which type of fuel. Now don't miss an important point here. Your activities and behaviors when it comes to the food you eat, how you sleep, uh, physical activity, all those things impact how your body burns energy. And we'll talk more about that a little bit later. Now, when I was preparing for this video and trying to think of ways of conveying what the device is doing, how it works, the thing that came to mind is the Lumen device is a mirror. It simply reflects your previous behaviors and activities. So for example, how late you eat will have an impact on whether you burn fat, or burn carbs. So if you eat less than two hours before going to bed, 
you're likely going to be burning carbs. Your mitochondria is going to be tapping into those carbs, trying to burn those off. But what you actually want is for your body to be burning fat while you sleep. That's the goal, y'all. Or if you eat a lot of carbs later in the day versus earlier in the day when your body has a chance to burn those off, you're likely not going to convert over to burning fat when you go to bed. Now, when you take your reading using the Lumen device, the app is going to reflect your results using a number system from one to five. And that shows you whether you're burning carbs or whether you're burning fat. And you can take your readings throughout the day, but the most important reading of the day is in the morning. First thing when you get out of bed. Well, really within the first 30 minutes of you waking up, you should be taking that first reading because it's going to reflect all of your behaviors and activities from that previous day. How you slept, what time you, you slept or went to bed, how long, um, when was your last meal, what types of uh, food did you eat, um, what type of physical activity did you have, so on and so forth. So all those things that impact your metabolism, that first reading in the morning is going to reflect all of that. Remember that mirror analogy that I gave you. Now, going back to that number system I mentioned, if you blow a one, that means you're burning only fat for energy. If you blow a two, that means you're burning mostly fat. If you blow a three, that means you're burning fat and carbs. You blow a four, that means you're burning mostly carbs. And a five means you're burning all carbs. Now, there's a lot more I can share there, but again, I'm gonna refer you to my original review video because I have all the details in there. I just don't want to um, make this video too long and rehash all that information. But one thing I do want to mention about those numbers, blowing a five or a four isn't necessarily a bad thing. It just depends on what the circumstances are. If you're working out high intensity activity and you blow a four or a five, well, that's good because you're tapping into those carb reserves. So those are some of the kind of ways you can um, use this data. All right, now let me say a few words about what the Lumen device does not do. So this is not some magic gadget that will cause you to magically lose weight. Blow into the device and you lose weight. Nope, it does not work like that. This is simply a tool. So remember my mirror analogy. Use this as a tool to show you how your own behaviors and activities are impacting your metabolism and then use that information to make any necessary changes. Now, one of the things I learned about myself is that I was eating my last meal too late or snacking too late. Um, getting enough sleep has always been an issue, but that became abundantly clear uh, when I started using the Lumen because my morning readings definitely reflected um, when I didn't get enough sleep or if I ate too late. Now, not getting enough sleep and maybe going to bed too late at times was something I was already aware of sort of intuitively. But once you have the data like right there in front of you and you can see it over time, trending over time, you know, it's just again yeah, like that mirror. You really see yourself. You can't really get away from it and you can you can really see what you need to change. So that's really one of the things that has been really useful about the data you get from blowing into this device every day. So here we are in the Lumen app. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at my own personal readings. So, um, and I also did a YouTube short showing you how to link the my fitness pal app if you use that to track your um, meals which i highly 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 recommend that you do um, but check the description box for that i really recommend that you track your meals because you'll be able to take advantage of the goal setting that the lumen app does for you okay because it's going to track that uh, pull in that food data you can enter it manually in the lumen app itself as well but it's just easier to pull it in through my fitness pal i feel like um but it's going to compare your actual eating and meals to the goal so you'll be able to see you can go in there at any time and see if you're on pace to hit your goal or go over your goal or whatever the case may be all right well, anyway so 
we're going all the way back to the beginning. Um, so you can see this is March, the week of March 13th, 2023. And these are all of my daily readings. And that's one of the things you get with the app. You get, you know, your historical readings for every morning, <clears throat> excuse me, that you take a reading and you can drill into these as well. So if you tap on one, let me see, I'll just tap on one here. You'll get more of the information that's available. And I believe if you go ahead and tap again, you'll get even more detailed information. You can see here up at the top, the macros, uh, macro goals and my actual results. So you can see carbs, protein and fat. Looks like I did pretty good um, that day. And you can see some of the other things, um, other data. And if you click on show full day, you'll even see how many calories you logged. Oh, good Lord. 2600 that day. <laughs> wow. OK. But anyway, let's go back. That's not really what I wanted to show you, but Let's go back to the full history. We're going all the way back to the beginning. All right, so you can see the week of March 13th. Um, and you can see when I first started, I was blowing fours and threes, all right? But I immediately started making some changes. So right away, I started to be more conscious of how late I was eating. So my goal now and since then is to stop eating by eight or nine o'clock. I go over that some days, but but most days it's just an inherent thing that I, I think about, you know, if it's eight or nine o'clock, I'm like, if I haven't eaten yet, I need to really make an effort to get that last meal in, um, if at all, if at all. So you can see that very next week, I only blew a four once and I even blew a one and then mostly threes. And then that following week, March 27th, you can see a couple of twos in there. So we're getting better. All right. Getting better and better gradually over the span of time. And then you can see here. Mid April, I really started to hit my stride. That was about six weeks in. Now, let me stop here and give you some context um, before we keep going with my data. When you set up the Lumen app, you are asked to pick one of three tracks, depending on what your goals are. So I chose the healthy weight loss track, and that one will give you a nutrition plan and macros at a caloric deficit and at a low carb setup. So you'll have fewer carbs than you will. You'll be a lot of fewer carbs than you will fat and protein. Now, there's something called boost days that you can earn after blowing a one or a two, four days in a row. Four. <laughs> so and let me just say that again. When you blow a one or a two every morning for four days, <laughs> four days in a row, you get a boost day. What is a boost day? So a boost day is when you get allotted a high number of carbs. So I generally get between 45 and 60 grams of carbs per day, but on boost days, that jumps up to over 100 or even 200. Just depends on um, if I also work out that day. Now, when I did the seven week review, I hadn't got a boost day yet, but since then I've had several. And you can see, uh, let's scroll up here, the week of May 1st, you can see that number two there, I blew a two in the morning, and then what the app has you do is after you have your high carb meal, it has you uh, do another reading and you can see the three underneath that too. So that's the second reading. So that's my boost day. And the idea behind the boost day is to promote metabolic flexibility. I mentioned that earlier. You want to blow your low number in the morning to reflect, you know, your activities and behaviors from the previous day. You want to be a in a state of fat burn, ideally. But after eating a high carb meal, you want to see that number at a three or higher because you, you really want to see that your body can switch between burning the different um, types of energy or types of fuel because you need to burn both carbs and fat, depending on the situation. Right. And we talked about that earlier. 
So now I was really in a groove because you can see that next very next week, I blew a bunch of ones, got another um, boost day. And you can see that I've been fairly consistent with my usage, right? Um, over the past year and a half or so. So yes, I have seen improvement um, from using this device. All right, something else you may be wondering is if I've actually lost weight using the Lumen device. Well, the short answer is yes and no. Let me explain. So when I say yes, it's because I'm able to take the data I get from the Lumen, apply that, make some necessary changes, consistent changes to my sleeping habits, my eating habits, even my physical activity, right? And I can see how that impacts things, my metabolism over time, and I can make adjustments. So yes, it's been very valuable. So see where I'm going with that? Just wanna be very, very clear. Now, do I still recommend the Lumen device? Yes, I do, especially if you're really into data like I am, you know, you're into trending and seeing how your um, activities and behaviors adjust and trend over time. This is great for that. As long as you understand what it can and cannot do, which is what I hope this video has helped to explain. All right, pricing, what does this thing cost? All right, so there is a bit of an investment here uh, the device itself is $359, but they sometimes run sales and you can get it as low as $199. I think that's the lowest I've seen it. Uh, and this is where a lot of people may drop off. In order to get all of the detailed information from the app, it'll cost you $19 per month. So there is a subscription. Now, according to the FAQs on the website, if you cancel your subscription, you can continue to get reading results, but you won't get all of the other detailed information and the measurement history, macros, and so forth. Now, if you're interested in getting your own Lumen metabolic tracker, use code GINSPECTOR uh, to get $50 off when completing your purchase. And I also left a link in the description box and pinned in the comments. So hopefully that helps. All right, I hope this video helped you. That certainly was my intent. Once again, check out that other video. I went into some other areas of the Lumen device and the app that I didn't cover in this video. So go ahead and check that out. And until next time, be good to somebody, be good to yourself. Later y'all.